prime is mine to set I'm pulling on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today we're doing an unboxing and quick review of the Cubist Pro Mini Atomizer. Just got it in and I'm excited. What I'd like to do is just go right on ahead. I've already got the tank out sitting right here and separated. Um, and let's go down real quick what this package includes, shall we? Uh, let's see, a Cubist Pro Mini Atomizer. Um, one of them is pre-installed in here already. That's a 0.5 uh, sub-ohm. Let's see, we've got the uh, second itemizer, which is the, uh, the Clapton, the LVC Clapton, 1.5. We've got um, a user manual, a warranty card, and a warning card. So let's go ahead and get through that. Like I said, the 0.5 is already installed. So the 1.5 Clapton is right here in a box. And I'll repackage it so you can see how I got it. Um, but moving right ahead, we have our warranty card. We have our user manual as promised. Let's see if we can get it up over here. That ah, looks better over here, huh? There we go. Guess we'll be using that camera. All right, cool. Uh, let's see what else and the warning card so I would read that if I were you and there is some best practice usage by a number of happy faces I think what is it oh yeah the little thumbs up icons on the different scenarios so make sure you pay attention to that the way it came in here um, I've got again the tank set out right here before us in the styrofoam but the way this came was this guy was in the box of here right we're gonna go ahead and put this stuff down in here just like it was then the uh, styrofoam I'm just gonna put that right down in here and if you're wondering why I'm taking such good care to keep these right here the way they are uh, is because I've already opened it and got the, the uh, coil ready to prime or ready to use I primed it uh, so anyway the tank actually will fit you can see the little cutout diagram uh, it will fit in there and uh, the let's show you how this comes set up so you can see that the tank has got a little bit of oil in it that's the bottom part Here's the atomizer, and it is a top fill. Let me put that together. Once you've gotten a little bit of your oil down there, and you've primed your coil. All right. By the way, let's uh, for a reference point. Let's see if I can't get one of my Arctic tanks, so you could see a side by side comparison of kind of a standard sized tank compared to the mini. Now, well, here, I'll put them up like that. Not a very good job, I know. Let me get my hands out of the picture there. Now you see the difference? It's almost an inch difference in my two fingers there. All right, we're going to just put this aside real quick. Now, I showed you that tank with the top side unscrewed because that's how you're going to put your coil in once you get your coil in then you're actually going to just twist this part up here and uh, you can see it's a top side fill so that that little lid just kinda goes down in there so it's really kind of ingenious the way they did this Let's go ahead and put a little juice in there. Like I said, I've already primed the coil. We're just going to put it in that top side fill there and just put it down in. 
and it's real easy to see where the lip is when you fill it from this top down it's real easy to see there real easy to see and we're pretty close right there to having it there we go once you get that in there and you can kind of see I'll have to adjust the cameras next time I'm just playing around getting this uh, third camera in here and I can see that my lower camera is a little glitzy the one that's on me but that's okay because I'm not the money shot here's the money shot right up here and up here all the stuff that's in the basket and down here on the work area uh, so that's that was the purpose behind getting the third camera in um, okay so I, I told you that I bought it for a very specific reason and that was because I got this Emec by Dovepo or Dovepo or whatever it's kinda got that funky little Star Trek transformer look well it comes with that little uh, skirting that little one inch metal lip and I think that's because it's supposed to give you access to adding different type of tanks okay but when I had put the Arctic tank up here it sat like yay high about another inch up so I bought this one uh, because it still had the power but that way it doesn't look odd all right so before we get to just firing this up real quick I went ahead and also got a five pack for ten bucks the Joytech atomizers for this Cubis Pro Mini atomizer and uh, I just went ahead and did that right up front uh, I'm a guy that I like to have my coils on hand I shop a lot in person I don't really go down to a vape store uh, so Having said that, um, once again, let's put the box back over here. And once again, we'll just run down this standard configuration. We've got the Cubis Pro Mini Atomizer. Uh, then we've got the 1BF uh, SS316-0.5 sub-ohm. Then we've got the LBC Clapton at the 1.5 ohm. User manual, warranty card, and warning card all right let's go ahead and let's go ahead and fire this up so we can get some reference points for usage huh Ooh, not too bad huh wow this thing's hitting it pretty good now inside I'm using the my DIY uh, strawberry yes I do label my stuff I'm a little OCD about that kind of stuff Wow I am pleasantly pleased with the uh, with the production of the vapor not only the taste but it is putting out like maybe one of the higher operating tanks here like this one that's on a hundred hundred watt this little this tank is sitting on top of a again the emec do dovepo or dopo whatever that's my strategy and i'm sticking to it and it's only a 30 watt machine uh and it is not lacking in flavor nor power Good night, Irene. Oh, I'm 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 happy. I'm a happy camper with this. So again, the Cubis uh, Pro Mini Atomizer. Uh, go get it. You know what? If you've got a machine that you're messing around with, uh, let's say, and you've got like a uh, a rebuildable or something like that, and you're not really convinced that you like a rebuildable, but you like the the smallness of the tank and not lacking power this is a good machine for you to go on they've got different coils that can uh, blah tongue tied uh, different coils that can handle different wattages uh, and all that good kind of stuff I would go out 
and I would get this if I were you. This would be a great machine or tank for you people that are in that realm. Hope you can see it there. And it matches my color of the red. Cool. Well, having said that, if you have any questions, please shoot me a message, an email. Uh, you can see it on my banner there. Um, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you've got questions, again, please hit me up. Please also like and subscribe and shoot the message out there to everybody. And, you know, if you've got additional comments that will... Uh, that you can point out about the review that I'm doing, either plus or minus, positive, negative, please, by all means, do so. Uh, we're all different people. We vape differently. And we all, while we share the love of a good vape, we all have our own sweet spots that we love to vape in. And so uh, having said that, let's uh, get it on out of here. Later. He's in his prime, his mind is set. We're pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies, deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.